Okay, after yesterday's exploration about angles on a triangle, um, we're ready to do part two. So a reminder of what the I can statement is in this section. 11.4, uh, I can understand the properties of the angles and sides of a triangle, angles and sides of a triangle, and the conditions, conditions for the existence of a triangle. And we're going to see that sometimes, um, like yesterday, if you've got angles that don't add up, to three angles that don't add up to 180 degrees, you can't make a triangle out of that. Um, we're going to see something kind of like that with sides. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Um, so we're looking right here under activity three. Uh, we're going to run through these right here. And again, I'm just, I'm just doing this on the screen. So you're going to see me following along with those directions. So let's see what we've got here. So it says pair up and get 40 snap cubes. So that's what I've got right here. I've got 40 snap cubes. Um, these all hook together. They go like that. They're kind of like little Legos or something like that. So um, that's kind of what they look like. So you're going to get 40 of them. Um, and a couple things that are important. You'll notice that this end right here, that's got a little hole in it and it's perfectly flat. Like if I show you like this, it looks just like a, a cube from above. And this end, it's got a, a little uh, knob, knobby thing pointing out. And that's what allows them to kind of stick together in all different angles and stuff like that. Now, if you're in class, I'll give you some time to mess around with these, but I just want you to follow along for right now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab 40 of them. So I've got 40 of them, and we're going to work in pairs. And it says, use the snap cubes to determine if you can make a triangle with the side lengths given in I through VI. So th those are these guys right here, OK? Um, to, we we want to figure out if we can make a, a triangle. And what we want to do is we want to just say a yes or a no. And it says on C, it says if you can make a triangle, compare your triangle with the groups next to you. So if you can make a triangle, just kind of look around and see how does your triangle compare with the people around you. Um, and then note any similarities or differences. So there are going to be some things that are that are very similar on them and then some things that are not so similar. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it also says for D, it says if you cannot make a triangle, try and figure out why. Okay, so the first one, the sides are uh, 3, 4, and 5. Now I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to grab three snap cubes, so I'm going to pull those off. Now when you, get, when you get these, it would be a really good idea. Once you make the right length, kind of push them together. They'll kind of square up and they'll look really good. So I've got my three. I'm going to grab a different color for the four. And I'm going to do this on each one. I'm going to make the, the two short legs. Uh, that's what we call the short sides of a triangle. Short legs out of one single color. And then the last one has to be five, five uh, snap cubes long. So I'm going to do this. And again, I, I, I kind of push them together. Make sure You can push them on your desk. Make sure that they're all nice and tight so that it's very clear how long each one of those is. Okay, so we've got three, four, and five. We've got those. Now, um, it would be a really good idea if you kind of did them all the same direction, uh, meaning we'll have the points, these, these little knobs go in the same direction. So I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to put the four right here. Okay, so I'm going to match up those corners. Because remember, we're just basically doing that inside edge right here and right here. This outside part and that little gap doesn't count here. So then I'm going to come over here and we're going to say, gosh, yeah, we can make a triangle. Let's kind of uh, fit those together. And again, you'll see what I'm saying about having the, the, the uh, points. Don't have two points come together like what I did right there. Um, sometimes those points will touch depending on what the angles are. So if you only have this, only have one point at each corner. Okay, so that looks that looks pretty good. Okay, so that definitely makes a triangle. So we're going to say a yes on this. And if we were in class, we would go around and we would look at, at other people's triangles and say, okay, are, are there similarities? Are there differences? Everybody's going to be able to make a triangle, but they might be similar, they might be congruent, they might be a little bit different. Anyway, go around and, and note what people have there. Okay, the next one is 3, 4, and 8. So I've already got my 3, and I've already got my 4. Let's make an 8. So I'm going to grab um, two more green ones, and then I'm going to grab two more blue ones. So this is what we've got. Now, I already had those set up so they were nice and tight and everything. Okay, so there's my 8. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my 8 right here. 
and I'm going to, so we're pointed right there. I'm going to put the three pointed right there, and I'm going to put the four pointed right there. Now, it's clear that I don't have a triangle yet, but let's see if we can kind of move these together until they will touch. So let's see. Um, you know what? There is still a gap right there. So they, they, there's no way this is going to work. We're not going to be able to make a triangle out of those. Okay, so we're going to put a no on this. I'm going to put a no right there. And then again, the instructions said if, if, you, if they make a triangle, go around and look at other people's triangles to see if there are any similarities or differences. If they don't make a triangle, try and figure out why. Well, one, one thing we could say here is, well, this is just flat too long. Or we could say those are too short, something like that. Okay, so we got a yes on one, we got a no on the other. Next one is 13, 5, and 6. Okay, so 13, that's going to be a long one. I'm going to make that out of out of the colored ones. Okay, so I've got six there. Um, let's do another one. All right, uh, so that's going to be seven there, and I'm going to do two more over here. Okay, so that gives me 13. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's 13, and I've got that pushed together nice and tight. And then the other two were... Uh, let's see, five and six. So I've got, there's a five right there, and then I've got a six. I'll just make a six out of these blue ones. All right? Okay, so here's what I've got. I've got five, one, two, three, four, five. There's a six, and there's my 13. I already counted those. And again, it's important to kind of keep those pressed together um, so that they look right. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to start with the big long one. I'm going to orient this one kind of like that, though. Okay, point, you can see the point right there. So I'm going to turn this around so the points aren't right next to each other. So I'll put those together. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go right there, because then I've just got that one point there. Okay, now this looks kind of similar. This is kind of what happened on the last one. Um, we don't have a triangle now, but let's kind of put these together. And let's see if we can kind of swing those together now. Notice I've got my finger. I'm keeping those uh, right next to each other. Same thing there. Well, what happens is I put these together. And notice how the corners lined up here, corners lined up there. This is just flat too long, or one of these other guys has got to be a little bit longer. So the, one, the answer on that one is a big fat no again. So let's look at the next one. The next one is 10, 8, and 9. 10, 8, and 9. So let's see. Um, I've got 6 there, so I can do another 4. Okay, so there's 10. And again, I'm going to make sure that it's nice and straight and pushed together. So there's a 10. Um, I want to do an 8. Oh, you know what? We need to make this out of a couple different colors, so I'm going to do that. There we go. I'll make the long one with, with two colors. So there's the 10. Um, and let's see. There's 10, and I need an 8. How many have I got here? I got four. I need one more. So I'll do a blue here. And then 9. Let's see. We've got 3, 3, and then 9. Okay. So I think we've got this. Okay. So there's, there's, okay. Straighten that out. Make that look nice. Nice and straight. Okay. Here, here we go. This is 8, this is 9, and this is 10. So let's go ahead and try and put those together and see if we can make a triangle. Um, so we'll go like that and like this. Oops, match those up. And let's see. I can keep those edges together, put those very corners together, um, and that's what I get. Okay, and again, we're looking at those insides. Okay, so we're right there. We, we can make a triangle. So the answer on that one is also a yes. Okay, next one is 15. So I'm going to make that one out of a, a long one right here. So we've got, I'm going to grab a couple more here. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Let me just double check. So there's 8 here and 7 there. Yep, that's 15. Okay, so we've got 15 right there. Almost doesn't hit on, fit on the screen. Um, the other one is 14 and 3. Wow, we got a big one here. Um, so let's see. Um, let's see if we can make. Boy, I don't know. We might have to. We might have to do some different colors on this one too. Okay, so 15, 
14 and 3, so I need to make this one that long. Okay. Color's not a big deal because these are all the same size. Okay. So if this one is 15, that one's 14, and then we needed 3. So 3 is going to look like that. So there we go. Okay. So we're going to take this, and, and to make this look as good as possible, I'm going to line that up that way. So there's our 15. There's our 14. And here's our three. So I'll put that like that. Swing this down here. Adjust a little bit. Okay, that, that looks pretty good there. They're just barely touching over here. And then, um, yep, looks good there. Definitely makes a triangle, real skinny triangle, but we get a triangle out of that one. So that one's a yes, okay? And the last one is 18, 10, and eight. Okay, so we've already got 15 here, so let me do this. Um, let me make this a little bit bigger. Um, that should do it right there. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah, so this is 18. We need another one that is 10. Okay, so I'm going to make a 10 out of this one. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we're right there. Okay, so we've got... We've got our 18 and then our 10, and now we need that last one was an 8. So I've got 5 right here. Here comes 7. Let's see, I think we've got 8 there. Okay, let's just double check. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. Yep, so there we go. Okay, so what I've got here is there's 18, there's 10, and then there's 8. So I'm going to put it like this. And then I am going to, um, let's see, I'll mix up the colors here so we can kind of see a little bit better. Okay, so I've got that one right there. And then I've got this one right here. And then again, notice what I've got here. I've got um, flat piece here and then the point right there, flat piece here, point right there, flat piece here, point right there. Okay, now as I do that, um, I'm going to bring those together and let's see what happens here. Okay. Um, they touch right there. That looks pretty good, but I'm actually not at the edges. Okay, and actually on this one, let's do something here because this is going to be really close. I'm going to turn this one so the points are both out. So I've got a point here and a point there. Now let's line those up. Okay, so they're just perfectly right there. And then let's try and put them together. Now, when those actually touch, and you can kind of see this, now I can kind of I can kind of spread it apart if I try really hard, but if you take a good look, I've moved this in here and I've moved that in there, and that's what makes that triangle. So stop and think about this. What we've got here is we've got 18 along the bottom, and we've got 18 along the top. So if I were to spread those apart even just a little bit, you can see there's a little gap right there, okay? So that, there's, a, there's a little gap right there, and I'm, I'm moving to exaggerate that. But they barely touch when we come here, and then they start to move apart, and they're further and further and further apart. So on that one, the answer is no, they don't make one, okay? Now, we want to come back here, and we want to take a look at, okay, what, what was going on as we were doing this little exploration? So I'm going to get rid of this, scoot that off to the side, and let's go full screen here. So it says, what must be true about the lengths of the sides in order for a triangle to be formed? Or in other words, in order for a triangle to exist. Now, there are lots of different ways to say this, but you'll notice that if I took these two and add them up, I get seven, and the big side was five. If I take these two and add them up, I get seven, and the big side was eight. On this one, it was a yes, and on that one, it was a no. Okay, let's take a look at this one. If you add these two small sides up, you get 11, and the big side was 13. So remember when we did these, we said, you know, either this one's too long or these guys are too short. But if you take a look at these couple that say yes, add up the short ones, we get 17. That's bigger than this long side, so they're long enough to make a, make a triangle. Same thing here, even though it was kind of close. Uh, 14 and 3 make 17. That's just a little bit bigger than this one. And then again, the issue right here is if you take these two short ones, add them together, 10 plus 8, you get 18. That's exactly how long the longest side was, and that doesn't make one. That just makes them so they just barely touch. We basically have this side right here, this one kind of up here, and what happens is when they swing together, if they're too short, there's a big gap, and what happened on this one is they were just barely long enough so that they would actually touch. 
Okay, they wouldn't touch before making a, a triangle though. So here's what we're going to say. The two shortest sides, or we could say smallest, two shortest sides, two shortest sides must add to be bigger than the long side. It must add to be bigger than the long side. Okay, or we could say the third side or something like that. So we'll take the two shortest sides, we add them up, and they've got to be bigger than the longest side. Even equaling the long side, that, that doesn't work. They've got to be bigger. Okay? Now, um, when many people are given the same three sides that make a triangle, what did you notice about the triangle? So you got three yeses. As we were going through this, hopefully you went through and you, and you looked at other people's triangles. Um, what happens is you end up with triangles that look very, very similar. In some cases, they look exactly the same. So if you're given um, three uh, exactly the same sides, you're going to make congruent triangles. They're going to look and they're going to be oriented the same way and everything. Now, if you notice somebody else's that didn't look exactly the same as yours, all you'd have to do is flip it or rotate it, orient it so that they are the same way, and then they'd be congruent. So we're going to write they make uh, congruent. And the, the symbol for congruent is this. Okay, So I'm going to say... Oops, make that look right. Little set of parentheses. Congruent triangles. They make congruent triangles. Now, uh, this is something called side, side, side congruency. Um, and this right, not that you have to worry about that. Um, this one right here, though, um, this is called the triangle inequality. The fact that the two short sides have to add up to be longer than the longest side, that's called the triangle inequality theorem. Now, um, you don't have to remember that theorem or any of the others, but you do have to remember the ideas uh, that we've explored here. So, uh, then you can go ahead and put all your snap cubes in the box. I'll give you a little bit of time to play with those before you do that. And then we just run through and we do a couple of these problems. So, I'm going to do that right now. So, it says, um, can you make a triangle with the following sides? Explain or show why or why not? So, it would be really easy to show somebody why it works or why it doesn't. So there are the two short ones. So we're going to do 1 plus 2. That's 3, and it equals 3. It's not bigger, so the answer is no. It's not enough for them to be equal. This is like that one uh, right here, where we had the 8 and the 10. Those add up to be 18, um, and that's how long that third side is. So that one's a no. Now, you'll notice on this one, they're in different orders. So we want to take the 5 and the 7. So we're going to take the two of those. 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 compared to 9, or, sorry, uh, 12 compared to 9, that's better. Um, 12 is bigger, so that, that is a yes. We'll take the two short ones. 4 plus 10 is 14. Compare that to 15. Um, the answer to that is nope. That's not going to work because 14 isn't bigger than 15. Some bigger numbers here. Let's identify the shorter ones. So 59 and 40. So that's going to add up to be 99, and we're comparing it to 68. Um, sorry, 68. So that's definitely bigger. So that one is a yes. Again, we're just taking the two short sides, adding them up, and then comparing it to the third side. So we add the two of those. We get 70. Compare it to 50. It's bigger. So that's going to be a yes. And then we've got 111, 45, and 65. These are the two short ones. So if you put those together, that's going to be 110, and we're comparing it to 111. It's smaller than that, okay? So that's no good. So we're going to say no on that one. Okay. Now, as we move through here, the, the problems change just a little bit. So just kind of think about uh, what's going on here. Um, it says the sides that could measure the third side of a triangle, and the, and the hint here is there can be more than one answer. Okay, well, let's say that these are both the short ones. So we'll take the 3 and the 7, and we'll add those together. Those add up to be 10. So as long as the long one was bigger than that, then we'd be okay. So 2 and 5 wouldn't work if we did it that way, but 11 would. That would be just fine. Okay, let's say that one of these is the long one. Now, it certainly can't be the 3, so it's got to be the 7. So if this is the long one, Let's take 3 and 5 and add those together. So if we did 3 plus 5, that would be 8, and that's bigger than 7, so that one would be okay. 
But again, let's say this is the long one. If that's the long one, let's take the 3 and the 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 isn't bigger than 7, so 2 wouldn't work. We're going to get rid of that one. So those are the two answers there. We'd circle those. Same thing here. Let's assume that these are the short ones. Add them together, you get 17. Um, so 17, let's see, that one wouldn't work. Okay, so we can, we can cross that one off. Um, and let's see, would 12 work? Yep, 12 would work. Um, would 6 work? Let's see, yep, they add up to be bigger than that. Um, now, we do need to go back through here and we need to check and see, gosh, would this actually work if we had this one as the long one? So if this was the long one, um, we could have 8 and, does 12 work? 8 and 12 make 20, that's bigger than, than uh, yep, that's bigger than 9, so we're okay there. And 6, 6 and 8, those add up to be 14, that's bigger than 9, so that would be okay there. Now, this does require a little bit of thought. If you need to show some work or write something down here or there, um, totally okay. Now, on number five, this says which side could not be the measure of the third side of a triangle with the given sides, and it says which one could not. This one says which one could be the measure of the third side. This one says which one could not, and there's only one of them that wouldn't work, okay? So let's think about this. 14 plus 7. 14 plus 7, that would be 21. Um, that is bigger than 15, so that would be okay. We think that one's all right. Um, definitely bigger than 8, we think that's okay. And it's bigger than 2, so that's kind of okay. Um, well, let's, let's think about this. Um, now, 15, we're, we're definitely good to go there, because we could check that a couple of different ways. So let's check this. 14, 7, and 15. They're the two short ones. They add up to 21. That's bigger than that one. So this one's, a, this one's definitely okay. Um, we think this one worked. Let's check and see. 14, 8, and, oh, whoops, 7 and 8. Those are the two short ones. Add them together. You get 15. That's bigger than 14. So yeah, that would work. Okay. And then this one right here, the 2, um, 14, 7, and 2. So that adds up to be 9. It's not bigger than 14, so this one would not work. So remember, this one says which one will not work. So those two do work. The one that is the answer, or in other words, the one that doesn't, doesn't work in this case, is that one right there. There's only one of them that doesn't. So maybe it would be a good idea if we kind of approach this a little bit differently than the last one. So let's do this. Um, let's try 8, 10, eight, ten and 7. Well, let's add the... 8 and 7 together, that's 15. Is that bigger than 10? It is, so that one works, so we're, we're not going to circle that one. Um, 8, 10, those add up to be 18, and that one's 18, okay? So this one would not work, that's the one that's not going to work. Now it does indicate that there's only one answer that works on this, so let's just double check. Let's say we were doing 8, 10, and 12. Those are the two short ones, add them together you get 18. 18 is bigger than, than 12, so that one would work. So you do have to be really careful when you're going through and doing these. So let's take a look at uh, 20, uh, 21 and 22 on the assignment. I'm going to pull that up right now. Um, and notice um, this has the properties in, of angles and sides of a triangle. So you'll notice that we've got some missing angles here. You should know from uh, the theorems or the ideas that we talked about yesterday how to do that. We know that we have to add up to be 180 for those three angles in a triangle. Okay, so you've got several problems like that. It just says state if the three numbers uh, can be the measures of the sides of a triangle. You're just going to add up the two small ones and compare it to the big one. If it's bigger, then it's yes. If it's not, it's no. Now this one's kind of interesting. It says two sides of a triangle have the following measures. Find the range of possible answers for the third side. Well, if we were going to say that these are the two short ones, if we do 9 plus 10, that equals 19. So that means the biggest that other side could be would be 19. So I'm going to put 19 here, and I'm just going to put kind of a max by that. Now, if we add them together to get the biggest they could possibly be, do you want to take a guess at what we do to figure out what the smallest they could possibly be? We would actually subtract. So I'm going to do 10 minus, 10 minus 9 equals 1. So 1 would be the minimum or the smallest. Now, the way we write that is we say this. We say 1 
less than x less than 19. So what we're doing is we're giving a range of answers right there. Okay? So that's how we do that. So add them together to get the biggest they could possibly be, subtract them to get the smallest they could possibly be, and you'll notice that we're not including a little equal to there because it can't actually equal 19. It's got to be something a little bit smaller so the two of those can be bigger than that long side and so forth. Now this one, if you have any questions about this one, stop and think. What's 1 plus 9? 1 plus 9 is 10. That would be exactly equal to that one. That's why this one's got to be just a little bit bigger, even if it's 1.1 or something like that. That would make this add up to like 10.1, uh, and as long as it's a little bit bigger, we might have a tiny sliver of an angle, but it would still be um, a triangle there. Okay, so that's how to do that one. Uh, same type of idea here. You're going to add those together to get the biggest it could possibly be and subtract to get the smallest it could possibly be. And I did say we'd do, didn't I say we'd do number uh, tw oh, 22? Yep, 22. So let's take a look at this one. We're going to add these together. So that means the biggest it could be would be 18. So it's got to be smaller than that. And then do a little subtraction problem. Uh, that would be 2. It's got to be bigger than that. And again, notice the strict inequalities. So a little bit of a funny way of writing that answer, but that's it. So you should be in good shape to go through and do this entire assignment. Again, it takes longer to talk about these ideas and kind of discover them and figure out how this works than it does to actually do the assignment. So I'm hoping it goes pretty quickly.